Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at a novel treatment for a common condition that many of us suffer from, which is aphthous ulcers. A new treatment for this condition was reported in the British Journal of Dermatology just a couple of months ago. Aphthous ulcers are the most common ulcerative condition of the oral mucosa. They present as either single or multiple punched out ulcers and can be very painful making it difficult to eat. For clinicians, management of recurrent aphthous ulcers is often very challenging. There are no curative treatment and the main goal is to decrease the discomfort, support the healing and to prevent the flares of this condition. Mild aphthous ulcers may settle with just steroid mouthwashes or even spontaneously, but in severe cases, off-label therapy with oral anti-inflammatory agents like colchicin, dapsone, tetracyclines, or even thalidomide may be used. However, the evidence is sparse and it lacks control data. This report in the British Journal of Dermatology suggests roflumilast, which is an oral phosphodiesterase inhibitor that has been used for more than a decade in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. A premilast, another phosphodiesterase inhibitor, was approved in Europe for the treatment of aphthous ulcers associated with Bechet's disease. Due to the pharmacological similarities between roflumilast and apremilast, the authors felt that it may be beneficial for those who have aphthous stomatitis as well. In the case report, roflumilast was used in two patients aged 27 and 52 years. The dose was 500 micrograms every day for a few weeks. Both patients had tried multiple medications for their aphthous ulcers in the past without any beneficial effect. After starting roflumilast, both patients had complete clearance of the ulcers in just a few weeks. They were then maintained on a much lower dose of 500 micrograms on alternate days or 250 micrograms on alternate days. This is an image of the first patient with a good response in a few weeks. Roflumilast was first marketed in 2011 and generic versions are now available in many countries. Interestingly, it was found to be up to 90 times more effective in inhibiting a subunit of phosphodiesterase inhibitors compared to a premilast. It has a favorable safety and tolerability profile and there are no requirements to do any blood tests on a regular basis. Other advantages are that there are fewer contraindications and less drug interactions compared to systemic therapies that are usually used for aphthous ulcers. The price of roflumilast is a fraction of the cost of a premilast in Europe. The authors therefore conclude that based on the pharmacological similarities with the premilast, the convenient prescription and monitoring and the favorable economic aspects, oral roflumilast may be a novel treatment option for those with recurrent aphthous stomatitis. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.